I've been a Mac user since, well, since I was drawing cats on my dad's original Macintosh. Yeah. I've used a lot of apps in that time. Some have stuck and some were, well, terrible. But fear not, I know. I'm gonna show you the best Mac apps I've found to optimize my time that have made my shortlist this year. And thank you to my go-to time tracking app, Rise, for sponsoring this video. More on them a bit later on. Since this new M1 MacBook Pro landed on my desk, I've been re-inspired to supercharge my Mac workflow. I won't go into loads of detail about all of them, as you may have heard of some of them, but it's a great list of apps that can really transform how you use your Mac. Let me know in the comments your favorite options and any others you'd suggest. First up, Alfred has to be the single most powerful app I've found. It replaces my spotlight search function and adds more powerful, wide-ranging options than I could possibly think of. Seriously, it's kind of ridiculous how little of the functionality I probably use at the moment with this app but many people see this as the best Mac app ever for running your day to day. Some of the things it can do, my favorite features include doing quick complex calculations using intuitive input, uh, creating snippets to quickly insert pre-written text or responses to emails, or using keywords for web searches. For example, you can just type Google and then search for a phrase and jump straight to the page in Chrome in one go. Love it. It's also a great way to quickly find a file. In Alfred, I can type find document name, search, and then press enter on the appropriate result to open it. Time saved. Keywords can also be pre-programmed to your needs, such as quickly logging into websites with passwords that you've saved in your password manager. And on that note, if you aren't using a password manager by now, well, you probably should be. I've recently started looking into this and 1Password looks a particularly strong option. I'm so pleased that I haven't had any of my accounts hacked before I started using this. It only takes one breach of your security and it's a lot to fix. All that said about Alfred, I'm also using Elgato Stream Deck all the time at the moment for a more tactile tool. It's a clear overlap with Alfred. They make a great pair. Check out my video on Stream Deck for productivity after this one. I highly recommend picking up Cheat Sheet to go with this, a simple and brilliant free app I discovered this month. You know on an iPad how you can hold the command key and it shows you a list of the functions you can run? Cheat Sheet is the same, but for your Mac apps. If you hold down the function key long enough, it will show you a full list of available shortcuts in that app. It's been pretty amazing whilst I've been learning to use Final Cut Pro over the last few months. You know what's even better? You can also just click the option that you found in that cheat sheet and it actions the shortcut. Amazing. If you want to get faster on your Mac, get it. It will save you so much time. I also think you should take a moment to click this sign down there. It goes a long way to help the channel. So Rise is my go-to time tracking app, an intelligent time tracker that improves your focus and helps you build better work habits by understanding where your time is going. It works on Mac or Windows and is really the perfect sponsor for this video for how it helps you monitor and improve your workflow and productivity across multiple apps over time on your computer. Now, it automatically tracks and categorizes your work in real time based on how long you spend on your desktop's focused window. Since I started using it, I've been more effectively planning my focus time or scheduling meetings by batch tasking similar tasks together to avoid too much context switching. I like the way I can customize categories to specific web URLs too. For example, I have two trackers for email in Chrome, one for better creating and one for my personal email. I've also really loved using their automatic break notifications. I've really noticed the difference. I'm getting up from my desk more regularly and I feel a lot better for it. So use my code BETTERCREATING via the link in the description to be the first 1,000 people to get 25% off your first three months with Rise and maximize that productivity. Uh, Rise also provides a 14-day free trial so that you can test out the product before you're buying it so you don't waste your time. Yeah, so go download it, you know, after watching the rest of this anyway, because, you know, we need to be careful about batch tasking. Bartender is another fantastic utility app for organizing your desktop. It cleans up your menu bar to hide your less frequently used apps. It's a simple but really useful thing if you have lots of applications installed that have menu widgets. You can also set it so that you can show the hidden menu sections when you hover over it. Worth checking out. I've also added a cool little app called Drop Zone 
It acts as a simple drop down window where you can hold and find documents until you need them. It doesn't move the location of the files, it just keeps their image there so that you can manipulate and use them as you wish. For example, I can drag a file into a new location from Dropzone. Third party options also take things further. You can start an email with an attachment you want to send by adding the file to the email function and away you go. Mosaic is a cool app that helps you create custom window layouts to drag and drop resized windows in your monitors. Really nice to have the custom placements. I love using it for external monitors to lay out script writing, Zoom calls, to also referencing online content. Listen, I need to briefly mention Notion in this list. If you're new here, it's the all-in-one platform I run my life from and I've built within it essentially my own app, a full life operating system and second brain that I use to capture ideas, manage tasks, projects, journaling. Check out my Notion playlist and my latest complete Notion setup tour after this video while you do. When it comes to creative work and media, here are some loved and lesser known favorites you might not know about. Figma is a great design app for Mac users, not actually limited to Mac, but it's super pleasing to use and you can share designs with other people. And what's best, it's free. So it's, I'm using it more and more now, well worth checking it out. Ina is the best media player I've found so far and I've now set it up as my default media player. It's replaced QuickTime, VLC, all of that for me. It handles any file type and actually looks quite like QuickTime, but has an additional scrub view across uh, navigation and the interface is really good looking. What's more, it's free. What's not to love? Sip is a super useful little color picker that I love having quick access to for finding or capturing a color that I'd like to use in some design work. It also keeps a history of what I've selected and holds my custom palettes in one place when I need them for designing across apps. So check it out. Add CleanShot to this list, a supercharged version of the screenshot function, and you have some great tools for creating. As someone who shares a lot of screen capture when doing Notion tours or builds, this is a game changer for me. The advantages are that you can capture a particular window scrolling capture and screen recording. But what is really cool is you can annotate and edit the screenshot within the app. So you can crop it, adjust it, add shapes and text, uh, blur out an area and so on. I've recorded all of the screen recordings on this video using it. And Pixelmator Pro. This has now replaced Photoshop for me as I personally just find it much better as an image editor. I love the intuitive controls and user interface. It's also particularly brilliant at removing and replacing backgrounds. So for thumbnail creation for this channel, it's been a super useful tool. It's basically as good as Photoshop, but there is no subscription issues. Alternatively, maybe check out Lumina for a new and interesting AI-based photo editor. When it comes to video editing, I'm now a full-blown Final Cut Pro convert for the great balance it strikes between pro features and plugins for color grading and editing, along with super fast intuitive controls and a magnetic timeline that massively speeds up editing each week. If you are looking to discover a range of apps like this, also check out Setup a great service to access a range of applications for a single payment structure. It's a great way to save some money if you're interested in kitting out a new Mac, for example, with a range of new utilities and apps. Next up, if you want to improve your task management and make the most out of your time working from home, you should watch this video next. And if you're looking for more on how to find the best gear and tools to supercharge your Mac desk setup, this is the one for you. It would be amazing if you left a comment, wicked if you subscribed for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.